Recreation in Harlem is talking about community life in Harlem in the 30s. She has incorporated African Americans and whites, which was really quite epic at that time. When the original sketches were presented to the supervisor of hospitals, he rejected them. He said there is too much Negro subject matter in here, and absolutely not. So it was only because of the protests of the Harlem Artists Guild and intensive letter writing campaigns that this work even exists. And that theme of social activism is what we're gonna see throughout our tour. This is the seven panel, Virtus Hayes' Pursuit of Happiness. The best way to look at this, you gotta start from the beginning. This is the artist version of the history of African Americans from Africa through the 1930s. I felt that the perception of the artist was very progressive in looking forward and seeing where we are now. All different backgrounds, diverse peoples, and we're all here in Harlem. The murals are actually life progression as we know it, starting from Africa, how we came here, how we were in occupations that were very limited, and looking forward to the migration, modernization, opportunities to where we are, nurses, doctors, scientists, great surgeons. The murals make me feel that I've been a part of this history. We have a rich history, and it's clearly, clearly represented in these murals. So what the artist has done here, he is celebrating the Harlem Renaissance. African-American intellectuals, with poets, with artists. So you think about it as Langston Hughes was walking down the street, and Zora Neale Hurston. 133rd Street between Lenox and 7th Avenue was Swing Street. So you had all of these clubs and cabarets, and I mean, this is two blocks away from the, from the hospital. We're in the middle of where the Harlem Renaissance began. And then later on, like in the 60s and the 70s, it fell off. But then you started to see a progression back towards that in the 80s and the 90s. And I mean, we're in 2018 now. The restoration of the murals is absolutely part of the renaissance that we're in now. We are so very proud that we were able to save this part of our community culture, restore it, and reinstall it in these specially designed galleries. I grew up in Harlem and everything kind of centered around Harlem Hospital. Not only the medical needs that people had, but the events that happened at Harlem Hospital. So that becomes a, a crucial part of the community. Harlem Hospital has certainly been the center of so much African-American culture, as Harlem is internationally known for black culture. This man with his arm extended is Dr. Louis T. Wright. Dr. Wright was the first African-American physician to have privileges here at Harlem Hospital. Many people visit hospitals for different reasons. You may come in to have procedures done, to be cared for, but then when you have these art work here, it sends a different message. Persons from the community can come in and get education, be informed by tour guides. Just going through the various art work give me a real profound sense of calmness and just knowing that it was sharing my history, transcending me from Africa into just where I am now was very uplifting. The artwork is a form of care. My whole family was practically born here at Harlem Hospital uh, and my grandfather worked as an orderly here at Harlem Hospital. It was only natural that I would become a nurse. I lived in Trinidad and Tobago and I was a midwife there for the 15 years. And I have worked at Harlem Hospital for the past 24 years. It's a very profound profession. If you want to have the opportunity to care for others, nursing is the way to go. Being a member of NYSNA means that 
We're fighting for safe patient handling, safe staffing. We're able to increase our skill set, and I'm able to bring that to the patients that I serve. In Eisner, we are citizens that can feel proud of working in institutions that give a fair pay for work that we produce. I cannot imagine being a public health nurse without being a member of Nisna. I'm a nurse and I am Nisna. Nice